Welcome back to the Brew Crew Podcast, everyone. This is day 19 of the Advent Calendar. Got the right number. Today we got High Wire Parfait. High Wire Pineapple Upside Down Cake Parfait. An wow. ale brewed with pineapple, cherries, brown sugar, lactose, and yogurt powder. Yogurt Sticky powder. Sticky and sweet. Have you ever had a beer yogurt with yogurt powder, powder I've never had yogurt powder in a beer or any other <laughs> No, me thing neither. I didn't even know what drink. yogurt powder would taste now, like. High Wire from Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. But as you had mentioned when we were coming over here, that this beer was brewed and canned by... Where did, where did it say what you had read earlier? Right down at the bottom. It says mm, by... Yeah. Um, by three, three Ring Brewing, in, three Ring Brewing Company in Asheville, North, Asheville Carolina. North Carolina. So, is it High Wire Brewing or is it Three Ring Brewing? We're not really sure. Probably that a collaboration. Kind of a little Maybe bit. a collaboration yeah. of some sort. Six point five percent. Now we've had High Wire several times on this podcast, including their ten year anniversary beer. I don't know what the anniversary of this one is. Probably none. I don't know. You ready? I'm not really primed up. Not too much, but okay. Go. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, for not being primed, we got it. Kind of messed right. up my thumbnail, but that's okay. Pineapple upside down cake parfait. Hmm. Interesting. What in the world? What kind of beer is this? Um. An ale. Yeah. Interesting. I don't taste the ale. It tastes like a seltzer. <laughs> I taste the breadiness. It's got to be. An yeah, ale. there's a breadiness to this. You're right, mm -hmm. man. Otherwise, that first sip, if that first sip is any indication of how the rest of this beer is going to be, oh, can you I'm going to be disappointed because this beer so far hasn't been. That first sip wasn't great. Mm. It has had some breadiness to it. Let's see. Mm. High wire. Got a beautiful color. Great color. Amber. Deep golden. Amber. Nice. Look at the head on that. Really nice head. But half inch maybe, and it's just staying there. It's nice. It's nice. Looks nice. It looks great. Oh, I smell it pineapple. It looks can be deceiving. Do you smell pineapple in there? Mm. I don't know. Mm. It smells like diapers. <laughs> you know, pineapple diapers, you know, diapers to pineapple. You know. Not not used diapers, like new diapers. You know when you open a bag of diapers? Oh, oh yeah. It smells like that. God, that takes me way back. Yeah. That's a long time it's ago. It's kind of got like that, you know, baby powder kind of smell to it. Because mm. they put a lot of weird shit in there. That might be the lactose. Who knows? Um, mm. Little cherries. Do I do taste the cherries? Interesting. It's like they're giving you, they're giving me what I want with a lot of these beers, which is like a lighter beer. A lighter drink um, with all these really rich flavors, but the rich flavors aren't coming through as much. Mm. Like when I think cherry, pineapple, in a light ale, not like the, the beer's light, but it's like, um, uh, I don't know how to, just, it's like a light beer. Like it just has that, like, that mouthfeel. It doesn't coat your tongue. It doesn't, um, you know, it's, there's no bitterness to it. But the, those sweet flavors, those rich, sweet fruits that should be coming through, like pineapple is a very prominent fruit, cherry is a very prominent fruit, fruit. These flavors should come out more, I think. Mm. Where are they? I taste the pineapple right up front. That is a, that's a, that's a, that's a taste that I'm tasting um, in the front of the palate. And it's also something I'm, I'm, getting on the finish a little bit in the in the nose um, in the breathing um, afterwards but um, but it's not super powerful it's not overwhelming and the cherry is really subtle which is a little hard to take because I know having you know I know I've relayed the story to you and to the podcast mm -hmm. before a couple of times the year that I made cherry stout for Christmas mm -hmm. cherries are a Freaking strong flavor, and they Cheers take a long best. time. And even after they settle, after a long time, they're still going to be pretty, pretty strong. There's no mistaking that there's cherries in there, right? Yeah, cherries this, are awesome. This it's is my favorite. It is. It's great. Cherries this, are the Reese's peanut butter cups of the fruit world. <laughs> That's what everyone wants. I love that. There's no one that's who's great. like, 
I hate cherries. If you hate cherries, you're really just a weirdo. Cherry's great, man. Cherry's the best. I tell you what, I would love to make a beer called, um, uh, oh, what's the name of that place? Um, cherry Limeade. The, the oh, Sonic? Sonic. Sonic Cherry Limeade. There's Cherry Limeade beers. Is there really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I got to have one. Yeah, yeah. We'll find some. I love Cherry Limeade. That's if great. If you got a good recommendation on Cherry Limeade, let us know. Yeah, please beer, do. Cherry Limeade beer. Sure. Oh, cherry's yeah. great in beer. I think cherry is one of the best beer ingredients you can have. Um, this you, is very light on it, though. You're right. It's it's real yeah, subtle. It's super we're, light. You know what? I bet, in my opinion, and I, I think you could go to, psychologically, you could carry yourself towards the parfait. However... If you named this beer Fruit Punch, I would not argue with that. Yeah. That's I would a never great call point. it a parfait. Yeah. I think it's Fruit Punch. I think of a parfait as something thicker mm-hmm. and chewier. This is not that. Yeah. Uh, I think you're absolutely that right. Yogurt and, powder. And you know what? That? The smell and the taste of it is much more Fruit Punch than it is uh, yeah. a pineapple. I'd actually probably give it a higher score if it was Fruit Punch. Yeah. Uh, it, It'd probably be more. Accurate. That's dead That's on, man. Good call. Thanks. That's a really good call. I, you're absolutely right about that. Same with the brown sugar. I'm not getting a whole lot of oh, brown yeah, sugar. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting any of that. Brown sugar. Um, lactose usually comes through as a sweetness, or you yeah. get a little bit of that like dairy kind of like flavor to it. And the yogurt powder, like, ow, oh, that's not even... There's nowhere to be found they, here. I wonder what kind of yogurt powder. Yes, yogurt powder. How much did they put? Like one teaspoon? I don't know. Was it flavored? Was it vanilla? Was it what was it? Maybe it was brown sugar or lactose. <laughs> I want to go out and buy one of those next time I'm at the store. Yeah, you um, could probably rebrand this beer as a, as a fruit punch beer. It would be a, a more apropos name for it. It would be fruit punch beer. And it's you know, the very first. I, I was thinking that when I first smelled it. The very first thing I got, I smelled the pineapple, but it was more than pineapple. It was like a fruit punch. It was just like that. I should have said that. I would have, I would have beaten you to the punch. Mm-hmm. But you're right. That's what it smells like, and that's what it tastes like. Yeah. It tastes like fruit punch. Yeah, it does. It does. I will say this. I said this last night. Um, it has a little effervescence um, in the mid palate. It does. It has a little sparkle there. I, I noticed that, sparkle. which is good, which is uh, kind of good. Um, very low hop profile. Very low, um, enough to make it taste like a beer, uh, but not a not a real bite at all to it. <coughs> um, sweetness is. <coughs> they say in the subtitle here, sticky and sweet. I don't find it to be either one really. Well, I mean it's sweet. There's some sweetness. It's, there's some sweetness but the to stickiness, it. Stickiness. No, all it's of not these, really. all of the the preconditions of this beer, the the brown sugar, the lactose, the yogurt powder. Sticky and sweet. It it gave me the impression that I was gonna be pouring out like fruit syrup. Syrup, exactly. I'm gonna pour, exactly. pour out a pineapple upside down cake syrup. And yep. what we got was a refreshing. It's actually a refreshing beer. A beer yep. you could drink in the middle of summer. Yep. You could enjoy it. It is fruity and sweet. Yep. Um, but it it miss it miss delivers on the promises. Mm. That doesn't make it a bad beer. My first sip wasn't a good sip, I'll admit. I didn't like the first sip. As I'm settling into this beer, I like it more and more. It's better. It's better after the first. Um, and I'm, I'm not trying to convince myself anymore that it's pineapple upside down king. I'm yeah. kind of like, this is a good fruit punch beer. Yeah. And now I like it. I, I like what you said about the summer summer, summer beer. I mean, I think the, the kind of the barometer and litmus test for that for me is would I drink it at a ball game? And I think I would drink it at, at a ball, ball game. game. I always think after, I, after I've after i mowed. Mowed the lawn. And yeah. I'm really That's a good sweaty one. and like I need a refreshing. Like sometimes I'll grab a bush light out of the garage fridge and just have that because it's refreshing. Yeah. I want to be refreshed. I want to quench. I don't want anything to dry out my tongue because it's already dried out from, yeah. you know, working in the yard. And this beer would satisfy that. Yeah, it would. It would sometimes, you know, in the summertime when you're hot and sweaty, like after you've mowed, you don't want a dry beer. You don't want a Hell hopped no, beer want a that's going to parch you and, and dry it, dry your mouth and throat out, you know, to the bone. Um, you want something that's a little bit more, uh, that's a little bit more cloying, I guess, for lack of a better term. But um, this does it. It's got that sweet, um, it's got that sweet uh, overtone and finish on it. 
that kind of stays a little bit, but not it lingers a little bit, but not too long. Um, and it's not unpleasant at all. So it's refreshing. It is refreshing going down. It's refreshing in the mouth. It's refreshing going down. And uh, it stays about the right length of time. Not a, not a bad beer. It's not a bad beer. It's a drinkable beer. Mm-hmm. Um, it's solid from the perspective that it's unique. And it's, there's not a lot of beers like this. You know, there's not a, it's, not a, it's fruity enough to be a sour, but it's not a sour. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so it's yeah. unique, and, and it's, it's not real. it's not real beery boozy um, fruity fruity either. So it's kind of found um, sort of a landing spot that's found a niche between mm-hmm. between those things. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and I like that. I like that. But I would agree with John too. I, I read. I see pineapple upside died down cake parfait sweet and sticky, and I I'm, I'm thinking syrup. That's yeah, exactly yeah. what I was mm-hmm. thinking. You syrup. know. Yeah. Uh, and we've had a number of those, but uh, this is not that. This isn't that. So, no. Uh, it's refreshing. It's growing on me more and more. I, I had a much lower score at the beginning. I think if you, as you as I settle into this beer and I enjoy it more, I breathe it more and more. It's actually it's a pretty good beer. Actually, I, I just it is. but so if I was to rate it on the label, I mean, I mean it's not at all what what they yeah. promised. But um, this beer is a Four two five. I would order a second one. If I was out and drinking this wow. beer, I'd order another one. I, I like it a lot. Man, that's wild. That's wild. Because the way we started this, I yeah. thought for sure you were going to get it. Like I thought I was giving mid threes I mean, highest. My, my first sip was like a three two five. That's that's what I was thinking. But, I was thinking, and I, I I find myself. This is not always true. I find myself often the rating a little just a, a little bit higher than you, and so because I was thinking three seven five at first. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, it doesn't really get any more than the 375, but, um, you know, som- it, sometimes I rate a beer um, not based on all the other beers, you right. know. Uh, sometimes I rate it on the genre, right? Mm. And if it's unique like this, I'll give it a little higher rating because in its class it kind of stands alone. You That's can't true. really compare this to an IPA. You can't compare yeah. it to a stout. That's true. You can't compare it to the red IPA that we had, which is the combination of the of the amber ale and the IPA. It's just uh, unique. It's just different. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I mean, there are a couple of, uh, in that first week, at the end of the first week, um, oh, what was that one? Uh, Pierre's, uh, it was that French one, uh, Noel, something. Mm-hmm. Something that one just that sucked. That beer was terrible, man. I, yeah, hated, yeah. That I, I hated that beer too. That beer oh sucked. man, that I remember terrible. reviewing that beer and just being like, "This beer sucks," oh, and man. it accomplished what it wanted to, which is to be a <laughs> shitty Christmas beer. Yeah. Congrats, you did a good job. Congrats, and we did our job too. Yeah. <laughs> um, it had some kind of metallic aftertaste that was nasty. Mm-hmm. It just no matter what the. You know the front part of the, uh, the front part of the taste was it was just uh, it was hard to swallow. Anyway, we're not here to review that one, uh, but by comparison though, by comparison. this beer's not that either. It's very pleasant. It's very drinkable. It's different. Um, it is worth a second drink. I would drink it yeah, again too, I'd which again. which knocks it up several marks. Yeah, and puts it in the range of uh, uh, you know that John was already talking about. So well, I'll um, give it my score. Yeah, four to five, four yeah, to five. Four to five is my score. Yeah. Oh man, I'm right there, man. I wish we had. I wish we had partial fractions. <laughs> I mean, you can. You don't have to avoid my score. You can give it the same score. Um, That's not like a rule. I'm right. kind of between four and four point two five. Okay. Um, if I could rate it as a four four point one five, I I probably would mm-hmm. rate it there. I've rated a couple of other beers four point two fives earlier in this advent calendar season and. I, man, well, you know what? I am going to give it a four two five. Four two five. Four two five. That Excellent. that's my score. I think it's it's good enough for me to drink again. I like it. Um, it's refreshing. I'd have this in my fridge. Yeah, four two five. Four yep. two five. Excellent. Well, not a technical episode today. We had a lot of technical talk yesterday, and that's okay. That's it. This beer is just a lie in a can, but a good one. <laughs> a good lie in a can. And that's. You know, kids, we can't Man. fault you for getting it wrong because you think it's right. But you're wrong, so that's it. Yeah. That's um, day 19. That's it, day 19 in the can. Bye. Later.